Hi guys, this is Katja with Creative Image Studio. I am very happy to show you my paperback album today. The paper that I used is Princess by Prima Marketing. And I bought the uh, six by six inch paper pad. And you can see that this is a very romantic, very feminine, gorgeous paper pad. And I also had uh, some of the 12 by 12 inch sheets uh, to use with that. Now I also used the small ATC pad, also the Princess collection. And as you can see, this is sort of the same as the paper pad, but different as well, some extra designs there. Next to that, I used some of the Prima Crystal Bling stickers. And I used some flowers that are from different uh, Prima collections. This is the Seashore collection, and the second one is the Cartographer collection. And the blings, they are from a different collection as well, the Time Travelers collection. Now let's start with the cover here. So there's a lot going on here in the sense that there is many flowers. Most of them are from the Princess Flower Pack. And there's also a couple of seashore ones here and some uh, cartographer ones here. You can see my die-cutting adventure is still continuing. This is sort of a doily. And here are two die-cut flowers as well. And then there's a third one right underneath here. Again, almost entirely covered, but still, it's a little detail. I also added a little crown charm because, you know, it's the princess collection. I thought it matched. And then, last but not least, this is a cut apart from a cut apart sheet and this is a prima sheet but it's not the princess collection this is actually the delight collection one of their older collections and i just bought the cut apart sheet and i printed this text i i you know chose my own font my own font colors and sizes and then i printed it onto this cut apart here now as for the spine, this I thought long and hard about. This is Bookbinder's Muslin. Because I did not know what to do with the spine of this bulky, bulging book of mine here. So I thought whatever I do in the uh, conventional ways of, of making spines, it would crack because it's so huge. So I just did a soft spine here and let me just quickly open that up just to see what I mean. Look, it's completely soft. And I added the bookbinder's muslin to strengthen it. And this is the back of my book. Look at that gorgeous paper. So let's open it up, guys. And let's start off. Well, we start with that same gorgeous paper that I just showed you on the back cover. And I thought it was so beautiful that I did not want to embellish too much. So the only thing I did here was create a slit pocket and then I slipped an ATC card inside of it. And this ATC card I stamped and it says a girl should be two things, classy and fabulous. I did my shadow stamping again. It's, it's very subtle. I'm not sure you're seeing it, but um, let me try to zoom in. Well, I can't zoom in further than this, but you can see, if you look very closely, the sort of the lilac shadow here, right, that I created by double stamping. So it's a subtle effect, but it's there if you know what to look for. Now the stamp set that I used here is by Glitz, and I would like to show you that because it's a gorgeous stamp set. Here's the stamp that I used there. I used this one uh, further, in, further on in my album. All right, now for the paperback construction of the album, I used the Kathy Orta tutorial on her uh, paperbacks and I will put a link in the description box below to the first part of her tutorial series. So if you want to create one yourself using that same construction, you can follow her tutorial now, I did embellish in my own way. I did not follow every single one of her embellishments or her uh, decorative elements. I only used one more and it's here. I will show you that later on. 
but for the rest of it I just used a simple basic construction here with the with the pockets here and here and then the large tag here and then the flap on the other side that's the only thing and the rest is my own design now what I have here I bought a series of tag pockets which I just wanted to try you know I had never seen those before and I thought you know maybe it's something that I, w I might like so I used the smaller ones in this album and I found that it almost exactly matches the size of an ATC card. This however is not an ATC card but it is from the cut apart sheet by Delight, well by Prima but from the Delight collection that I also use here on the front. And I thought this is a lovely girl, it matches sort of the theme here. And then I added a piece of the crystal wings here, matted the entire thing and added a little tag just for fun. Also an ADC card here and there is room for more. You can put some photos here but also here. And this is on every page. So, And this is a tag. Now for those tabs here I'm very pleased that I finally have a solution for for you know making these kinds of tabs because the stamping up tab punch that I've seen many ladies on YouTube use for their albums is no longer in production it's not available anymore so I cannot buy it anywhere so what I did is buy um, a die it's a series of dies actually and these are label dies you know sort of nesting inside of each other. I'm not sure what the brand is. The point is that you need a shape that is narrower in the middle and then wider uh, here on the outsides because this will give you the typical uh, tab shape, right? This is my solution. You can do them, of course, in smaller and larger sizes. As I said, every page is the same with the flap here and then the pockets here. Again, some of the this is an ATC card and a cut cut apart uh, of the cut apart sheet of the Delight Collection ATC card again. Here is one of the tag pockets again. I added a seashore flower here. Here is an embossed piece of cardstock that I used that I thought matched the color. And look at that gray pattern here. This is typically of the Princess Collection, so. I thought I would cut that pretty lady and use her in her entirety so you could do a photo here and then keep this as a decoration. Now here is an ATC card again that I embellished with not only with some heat embossed music notes here but also added some banner banner tags here with a, uh, a bread and I added some stickles. And then, of course, the banner, you know, will hang over this uh, this pocket here, which I thought was cute. Now here I did a magnet closure construction on a simple double-sided flip tag. I just took a piece of double-sided paper and folded it and turned it into a little booklet here. Did the same thing here. Very simple, right? Added a flower from the Princess Collection. And this is a delight sheet cut apart. Look at how gorgeous that paper is. Here I decorated a tag with its own little tag, so it's glued together and it's just for the effect. I added some glaze here, some paper glaze and a crystal bling. And again an ATC card here and again this is the same beautiful sheet as this one only this here is the 12 by 12 inch sheet and this is a 6 by 6 inch so smaller pattern. Now here is one of Kathy Orta's well let's say inserts that she created with her paper bag album in her tutorials. I really liked it so I wanted to incorporate it it's the only let's say bonus project of her tutorial that I added but look how great that is it's sort of a 
wallet and then you have several tags here that you can just you know thumb through and there are two double tags here and here is again the construction with the you know with the label die one is a double one again. Look with the princess here. This in itself would be a great like photo wallet in your purse or you know as a gift to someone and add several gift cards or birthday cards or whatever you like so I really like this. It, I enjoyed creating it as well so I can recommend that. What I did on every page is I put the punched out half circle here, I glued it to the back of the pocket so the pattern continues. I did that on every page. And look how great this spine works, right? Look, this would have completely broken the spine if I had used like chipboard or cardboard or whatever. This is an ATC card again. Cute little princess here. Here again. And here I did a little layout here with a photo mat that you can actually put a photo, you know, behind these flowers. Again, with a die cutting here. Really love that effect. ATC card and a tag pocket with an, an embossed piece of uh, paper as a tag. I used some Distress Stickles by Tim Holtz. Uh, it's the same color as the Distress ink that I used to ink around all of the edges and the color is Tattered Rose. And a lovely princess again. Look how gorgeous she is. Of course I uh, used a floral punch here on every flap and then here ATC card an ATC card again and here a little flip booklet and I am heat embossed that with a rose and this rose is from the glitz stamp collection that I just showed you oh and here it's one of my uh, scrap mats again. As you know, I like to use all of my scraps. This is one of those. It's my second in this book, actually. I think I missed uh, the first one. And this on this page. It's a scrap mat as well. One of these cute little tag pockets again. A scrap mat, crystal bing, and a cute little ribbon here with an eyelet. So there's lots of room for photos in this album. Look at the lovely lady here. Now here is uh, one of the delight cut aparts again. Here is a super simple bonus project. A die cut flower here, or actually a punched flower added a crystal bling. And just folded that piece of uh, paper again. And then here is the last page. I tried my hand at doing a layout again. So here's an ATC card. I added some stickles here and added my handmade charm, of course, that I add to all of my albums. Added some uh, pearls here, a piece of ribbon. This is a die cut uh, floral corner. Love that. And these are two die cut star shaped well, shapes, I guess. Um, and then here is a Prima flower from the Cartographer collection. Right. So this was my very, very, very bulky paper bag mini album. I love it. And this is mainly because of the paper collection. I love this princess collection. 
But I have to tell you, I really enjoyed creating this. So I think I will do a couple of more paperback albums. What I loved about it is that the construction is very simple. So you can do your decorating pretty quickly after you have started the project. Now, eventually I painted the back of the album with textile paint and painted it gold. Here's another one, by the way, I painted that one silver. So this is the gold one, and this is a simple uh, textile paint that I used for that, because I thought that matched better with the gold accents here. So this is more of a consistent whole. So I hope you enjoyed this mini album, and uh, let me know what you think, and I will see you next time. Thank you, bye bye.